Statistics. Mean, median, mode, and the range. Let's start with the mean. The mean is when you take the sum of all the data, adding them all up, and then dividing by, that's what this big fraction bar is, a division symbol, dividing by the number of items in the data set. For example, assist by a point guard from each game that they played. If we count the numbers that we have here, there are 12 total numbers. So to get the mean, I would take those numbers, add them in my calculator, which gives me 99. I would write that down. And then I would divide by, again, there's 12 numbers if you count. So I'm going to divide by 12. This is the work you would show on paper. And then divide in your calculator, you would get 8.25 and that would be assists per game, since that was the context of this problem. Here's how you can remember the mean and not get it confused with the median and the mode, which we're going to talk about here in this video soon. The mean is the one that would be mean to have to add all those numbers and divide without having a calculator. All right, the mode is the number, or possibly numbers, it could be more than one, that occur the most often. If no number repeats, then there is no mode. The way that you can remember mode is that it starts with the letters M-O for most often. So that's the little trick to remember which one is the mode. All right, let's look at that same example we were looking at before. Who's the mode? Well, notice one, two, three, four were eights for eight assists. So that's the mode because the eight repeated more often than any other number. Yes, there were two nines. Yes, there were two tens, but the eight showed up the most amount of times. So that would be the mode. Now let's just hypothetically say that the fourth eight was actually not supposed to be eight. Say they figured out the assists wrong and it actually was supposed to be 10. Well, then that would change the mode because now there's three eights and three tens. No other numbers would show up that many times. So since the 8 and the 10 ties for the most amount of time showing up, then they're both going to be the mode. Now, the 9 is still not the mode because the 9 only shows up two times. Whatever number or numbers show up the most amount of times are your mode. And I should say before moving on, if there were no numbers that repeated at all, then there would be no mode. All right, what about the median? This is the value that's in the middle of the data, but it's only in the middle after the data has been put in least to greatest order. So don't bother finding the middle number when it's in a scrambled random order. You have to put it in least to greatest order first. Now there's two different scenarios here. You could have an odd amount of data, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's an odd amount of data. When you have an odd amount of data, there will be one number in the middle. However, when you have an even amount of data, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, well then there's two numbers that are kind of in the middle, but you can't have two medians. So what you would do is you would find out what number is exactly in between those two numbers that were in the middle. And it just so happens since this is 33 and then 34, halfway in between would be 33.5. Now that one's easy. If you couldn't figure out what was halfway in between the two middle numbers, you would take those two middle numbers, add them together, get that result, and then divide by two, and that would give you the number that's halfway in between. So the quickest way to find the middle of the data is to take the number of items there are and divide by two. Then we'll count up to that value in the data. Let me show you what I mean. Back to the example we were looking at with nine numbers. Nine divided by two is 4.5. If you, if you didn't know that, you could use a calculator. Now, there is no such thing as a 4.5th number. There's a fourth number, there's a fifth number. So whenever you divide by two and you get something 0.5, you're gonna round up. And that means the median will be the fifth number. Let me show you what I mean. If I count one, two, three, four, five, Right there, the 33, which was my fifth number, that number is right smack dab in the middle. Now, it's not hard to see that when there's only nine numbers, but what if you had 25 numbers, like what you have here? Then it's gonna be trickier to find out what number's in the middle, and so that's why we're doing this dividing by two trick. However, did you notice these numbers are not in least or greatest order? 
you have to make sure that you're not finding the median until after you put the numbers in least to greatest order. So, abracadabra, boom, all right, they're in least to greatest order. Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple in real life? There are 25 numbers. So what we're going to do, we're going to take 25 divided by 2, just like I was doing them the last time. That gives me 12.5. Now, there is no such thing as a 12.5 number. So round that up. That means the median will be the 13th number. Okay, so let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, that's what we said was going to be right in the middle, the 13th number for this data set of 25 numbers. So 22 is our median. And let me tell you guys, this is a lot quicker counting up to the 13th number than it would be for me to cross out the first number, cross out the last number, cross out the second, cross out the second to last. I know some of you were taught that in previous years, but this is so much quicker once you get the hang of it. And this also works for an even amount of data. However, it'll be a little bit different. Here we had 10 numbers. If we take 10 divided by 2, that actually gives us a whole number of 5. But here's what you're going to do with that. Remember, with an even amount of data, there's actually two numbers in the middle. So that 5 means the fifth number and then the one right after it, which would be the sixth number. They're the two in the middle, and you have to find out what is halfway in between. So that's what happens when you have an even amount of data and you divide by two. You'll get a whole number. It's that number and the one after it that you have to find out what's halfway in between for your median. So let's go back to the original example I was using earlier with assist by a point guard. This was 12 numbers. And if you take 12 and divide by 2, I would get 6. That means the median is between the 6th and 7th numbers. Let me show you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We want what's between the 6th and 7th number because whenever you have an even amount of data, there's always two numbers in the middle. So, the sixth and seventh numbers are both eight. So, what's between eight and eight? Well, that's kind of a trick question. It's still gonna be eight. All right, the last thing we wanna talk about on this video is an idea called the range. It's a very, very simple idea. Unlike mean, mean, and mode, this is not gonna give you a measure of center for your data. Instead, this is gonna basically tell you how spread out your data is. And all the range is, is taking the highest value minus the lowest value. In other words, HV minus LV, that's for short, but it's the highest number in the data minus the lowest number in the data. Let me show you what I mean. This is so simple. From our example of 25 numbers, the highest number was 34. The lowest number was 10. If I subtract, I get the range of 24. Here's the other example we were looking at earlier, nine numbers. The biggest number is 40. The lowest number was 26. This is so much easier to do when you have the numbers in least to greatest order, which you have to do anyway when you're finding the median. But 40 minus 26 gives me a range of 14. 